Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how to access files shared with the group. Let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So here's the situation. We have this uh, team site over here, John's team site, and a bunch of files and folders within this library. And let's just go ahead and you know, let's just pretend one of the members of the site decides to share this with uh, you know, someone else uh, within the company. All right, so now, obviously, when, let's say, someone shares it with an individual, uh, at that point, uh, obviously, the individual will be sent a link, and that individual can always access this link uh, to a file or folder um, later on via OneDrive. Let me show you that. So if, uh, let's pretend um, a link has been shared with me, I now go to my OneDrive, and under Shared, and shared with you a button we are going to see pretty much all the you know files and folders that others have shared um you know have shared with you uh, at some point um so far so good however let's just say now um i'm not sharing uh, with an individual i'm sharing with the whole uh group with a with a with another team so for example let me share it with an HR team. I'm sharing this folder over here, photos folder, with the whole HR team, all right? So I'm not inviting an individual, I'm inviting a group of users. This happens to be a Microsoft 365 group, uh, a team site. So here is my invitation, I'm sending it. Now, here is the site, uh, a team site, uh, who I shared with, the group, I should say, who I shared uh, this folder with. So how does this group access those files and folders? They're not going to find them under their own OneDrive because the invitation was sent to the group, not to individual uh, you know, team members. Um, so in that case, what you want to do is click the shared with us. Now, very important, it doesn't really appear automatically. Uh, you see, if I go to the home site, shared with us doesn't appear. So as a walk around, you kind of need to click on you know, on let's say document library, and then you will get to see a link called shared with us right here. So you click that, and this will show you all the files and folders that others have shared with you. Now, um, if you notice the photos folder does not appear here uh, just yet, and the reason is because it takes a few minutes for it to appear to propagate. I'm resuming this video literally in one or two minutes. And look at this, here is this photos folder that I just shared with this group, uh, appearing right under shared with us, um, you know, section. And obviously, if uh, I were to click on this, it will bring me straight to that other site directly inside of this folder. So you see pretty, pretty cool uh, way to access the file. So the bottom line is uh, whether the, you uh, shared with individual or whether you shared with the group, the recipients can always go back and access that content. They don't need to, you know, search for that email from three months ago. In case if uh, you shared with individual, then you just, you know, go to your OneDrive and click shared with me uh, option to access the files and folders. In case if the link was sent to the whole group, uh, all you need to do is just click on the shared with us, uh, you know, tab and you will get to see any member of the site will get to see the files and folders shared uh, with that group. Very, very cool feature. So hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.